Hey everybody, Hansel here. Here's how to set up custom hit sounds in TF2. This is a three part guide. Part one is mandatory for both parts, so don't miss it. Part two is a simple custom hit sound with nothing fancy. And part three is multiple alternating hit sounds. Everything is timestamped, so if you miss a part or want to go back, you can use the seeker bar or the timestamps in the description. The first thing you need for a custom hit or kill sound is the sound you want to use. For this example, I'll be using the Half-Life 1 Scientist Hurt and Death Screams. I found a nice video containing the sounds I want to use, but the problem is, when I download them, the file format won't be the correct one for TF2. Since TF2 is an older game, it uses .wav, and most times you'll have a .mp3, .mp4, or a .webm file. To make a .wav file, I'll be using a free open source audio recorder slash editor called Audacity. After you download and install Audacity from the link in the description, We'll proceed to set up the loopback recording so we can record any sounds that are playing. Click Audio Setup at the top, hover over Host, and click Windows WAS API. Go back to Audio Setup and set the headphones slash speakers that you use under Playback Device. And finally, set the recording device to the same as the playback device but with the added bracket, Loopback. If you don't see your device listed here, select MME under Host and then click Stereo Mix Audio under the recording device. Now when we press R to record, or the red circle, and play the audio, you should see the waveforms from the audio show up. Alternatively, if you have a .mp3 file, you can just drag it onto the timeline and edit it from here. Now with our new audio file, we can proceed to the next step, which is editing the sound of the volume, and finally, converting it into a .wav. If you need to zoom in or out, you can press left control and scroll in or out based on where your cursor is. You can listen to the audio by pressing the spacebar or clicking the green arrow. Ah! Once you know where your sound is, hold left click and drag the mouse past your sound to highlight it. Once it's highlighted, you can press Ctrl plus X at the same time to cut it, Ctrl plus A at the same time to select everything, and press delete to remove everything that we don't want. Ctrl plus V to paste in our sound again, and try to get as close as you can to the actual sound by scrolling in, highlighting, and deleting all the unnecessary parts. You should double check that there's no empty space before or after the audio by clicking 00 on the timeline and listening to completion. This part involves increasing your audio level because if you're like me, TF2 is very loud and you play on a lower volume. This affects the hit sound too. We're going to make it very loud so be careful not to press play or listen to the audio file after this. Drag the bar on the gain slider up to 10 decibels higher. This way, no matter what your audio level is in game, you'll be able to hear it. Next, go to file. Export, export as a WAV, and make sure the type is WAV Microsoft and the file name is hitsound.wav. If you're exporting a kill sound, make sure it's killsound.wav. Now that you have your .wav from part 1, we can move on to putting it in the game. Right click Team Fortress 2 in your Steam library, navigate to manage, and click browse local files. From here we can click TF and finally custom. Here, we're going to have to set up a file for your sounds. This initial file can be named anything, but for simplicity, I'm going to name it Hit Sound. This next step must be followed exactly. Inside your new folder, make a new one called Sound. Inside the Sound folder, make a new folder and call this one UI. It's mandatory for these files to have this name, so make sure everything is right or this will not work. Finally, we can move our hitsound.wav into the UI folder. And for kill sounds, it must be killsound.wav. Now we're going to clear the TF2 sound cache to make sure everything works properly. Navigate back to your custom folder, and if you have anything like a HUD or something else, go into those folders and find the sound folder. Inside, you should see a sound.cache file. Delete it in every single add-on you use, even if it doesn't make sound. Close out of the window and start TF2. In the TF2 main menu, click Advanced Options and scroll down to Combat. Make sure Play a sound every time you hit an enemy is checked, and scroll past this to make sure Play a last hit sound when one of your attacks kills an enemy is also checked. Ensure the sounds are both on default. If you need to adjust the volume or pitch, you can do so from here. And we're finally finished. In my case, the audio was still too quiet, so I'll have to go back and raise the gain to around 15 or 20. You can just drag in the old hit sound.wav and adjust from there.
For multiple alternating hit sounds, I have to give credit to the Steam Guide. This would not be possible at all without them, and I take no credit for this. This is a video follow through, so if you have a problem here, you can check the exact text to make sure you did everything right. Before we start, I'd like to recommend that you go into this with exactly 3 or 5 hit sounds to use. The guide says you can go above or below, but I've personally never been able to get it to work. Remember that information from part 1 and 2 is required in this, so don't skip those otherwise things will not work. I want you to put your hit sounds in the UI folder like part 2, but name them hitsound1.wav, hitsound2.wav, etc. for now. Also note that multiple kill sounds might be broken. If that doesn't work for you, I'm sorry but there's nothing I can do about it. For multiple hit sounds, we're going to need a script from the game files. To do this, we're going to use GCFscape. This free program allows us to browse the game packages and get what we need. From the link in the description, find and download GCFscape. With GCFscape open, we're going to click File, Open, and navigate to your TF2 install location. Open the TF folder and find the TF2 underscore misc underscore directory. Click it and open it. Here, we're going to open the scripts folder and find a file named game underscore sounds underscore weapons dot txt. Double click the file to open it in notepad and press Control plus A, then Control plus C to copy everything. With this, find your custom hit sound folder and inside the sound folder, make a new folder called scripts. Inside this new folder, right click the empty space and make a new text file. Call this file game underscore sounds underscore weapons. Open up your new document and use Control plus V to paste in everything we copied before. Use Control plus S to save it and then close out the file. Now go back to GCFscape as we need one last script for this to work. Inside the scripts folder from earlier, find the MVM underscore level underscore sounds dot txt. Double click to open, Control plus A, then Control plus C to copy everything. Find your custom scripts folder and make a new text document next to your other script. Call this one mbm underscore level underscore sounds dot txt. Open it and press Control plus V to paste everything in. Use Control plus S to save it and then close out the file. We're now finished with GCFscape, so you can close the program, but don't uninstall until after everything works. For this guide, I'll be using the script to replace the Electro preset hit sounds with my own custom hit sounds. This is because the Electro set uses the R&D wave, which randomizes the order of the hit sounds in game, and uses three hit sounds, which I also have. I'm going to take my custom hit sounds in the UI folder and name them exactly how they appear in this document. You can find the kill sound section just below the hit sound section if you keep scrolling. It's mandatory that you clear your sound cache in every single add-on in your custom folder, otherwise this will not work. If you as well have three hit sounds, and you name them exactly how they should be, then you're done. In TF2 Advanced Settings, under Hit Sounds and Kill Sounds, select Electro and try it out. If you want to use 5 hit sounds, you can repeat those steps, but using Vortex or Retro. The guide says you can use more than 5 hit sounds, but I've personally not had any success adding to the file. If you'd like to try anyway, the link to the guide is always in the description. Thank you for watching, I hope I was able to help you. If you have any other guides you want to see, let me know in the comments. I also make normal gameplay videos along with clip dumps, so if you're interested, check those out too. Magnificent! Splendid. Yes!